Now, most of what you see in black on the front of that car is not grill opening. The grill opening is a narrow slit within the grill area, and it has hardware cloth or mesh uh, right in it. So pretty narrow is the amount of actual opening to the radiator there. And from what I can see, that bear bond is not covering it very much. So let's set the field for you as they come around to two laps to go. Dale Earnhardt Jr. trying to win the Daytona 500 yet again. Brad Keselowski for Roger Penske trying to give the captain his second victory. And remember, it was Dale Jr. who gave Keselowski his big break to drive Jr.'s car in the Nationwide Series. Now right behind them, Jeff Gordon, the 24. Kyle Busch in the 18 coming from one lap down. Carl Edwards and Denny Hamlin. Jimmy Johnson and Ricky Stenhouse. Matt Kenseth and Kevin Harvick are the top 10. And wins this year count more than ever. You win it, you might be in the chase. It might be the win you need, and it's a chance to get one right here. Kelly Earnhardt Miller, Dale Jr. sister looking on, and here we go. Green flag, two laps. Dale Earnhardt Jr. gets to that restart box, and he is gone. Yeah, that car is, I mean, it takes off. Now, he definitely doesn't want to get too far out. We know that's not good, and he is making a pretty good gap here. Here Fair comes watch. the two. Brad Keselowski on the outside. Got a little bit of help from behind. Gaining on the leader. Jr. comes up to cover. Jeff Gordon now leading the inside row. Unless Keselowski or Bush or Denny Hamlin in the 11 drops down, it's Hamlin. What a move by Hamlin. Woo now, if we get back to the white flag, we have a race. Look at Stenhouse in that 17 in the middle, back and forth. And Boy, back he and just forth. shoved Kyle Bush right out of the way. Ricky Stenhouse in the 17 to third place. White flag with Stenhouse up in position to challenge in that blue four. You know what, Larry? I believe that tape's going to stay on there, and that baby's going to come home a winner. Denny Hamlin has not lost a race this week. He's number 11. Keslowski, the 2012 champ, battling back to the top. And Dale Earnhardt Jr., the Pied Piper of Daytona, trying to hold them all at bay. And Kyle Busch was trying to make a third line at the top of the racetrack. Boy, here they come. Now, this is where it gets interesting. We've seen a lot of passes off turn four than a start-finish line, but that 88 is pulling away. Less than a mile to go. Oh, we got a wreck. Third generation star, Dale Earnhardt Jr. Brings him to the flag. Checkered flag waving. It's over. It's Earnhardt. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Good job, June Bug. Woo. Reed Sorensen's race ends up in a crash. Harvick into the wall past the end of pit road. And Carl Edwards, 99, all torn up. Here comes Kyle Busch backwards across the start-finish line. Factor across. Now, the caution flag waved before Earnhardt took the checkered flag. Officially, the race ends under yellow. NASCAR will review all... I cannot all believe it. <laughs> Unbelievable. They'll review all photographic and video evidence. It'll be a while before we have an order of finish. Reed Sorensen is okay. Carl Edwards moving around in his car. The Pied Piper leads them around for the final lap. And, and then how can you take some bad luck? Get something on your grill with three laps to go. A piece of tape. You couldn't come down pit road and put a piece of tape on there and do any better. The black number three returned to Daytona this week. Where'd that big piece of black tape come from? <laughs> Remember, in the offseason, his crew chief, Steve Latart, said to Dale Jr., this is our final season together. Let's make it memorable. They already have. It's yes, awesome, sir. dude. I can't quit watching you right now. Steve Latart, his crew chief. A champion of the Daytona 500. I've said it, and I've said it, and I've said it. Those two guys are going to do a lot of good things this year together because they, they, they know what it means. But Dale Earnhardt Jr. has gone winless in four of the last five years. and won't be able to say that about 2014. 
or keep counting his runner up finishes in the 500 yeah, that that 88 car victory though, lane that thing could get out front and he could just go from one side to the other I mean he, he was just had a fast car at the end of the day I believe Dale Earnhardt Jr. has got a little celebration planned here see what he's going to do he's not a whole lot he can do right now the whole front straightaway is full of wrecked cars he is saluting the fans and coming all the way down the front stretch reminiscent of when Alan Kowicki won his first cup race and did a self-styled as Kowicki called it, Polish victory lap. It's the wrong way around, but it puts your face right in front of the fans where he can look him in the eye and hear them cheer. You know what I love? I mean, to see Dale Jr. that excited, to see him just pumped, man, about winning that race, and he should be, but look at him. He's like a little kid in there. Yeah, I don't He's know if I've ever seen of it. him that pumped up. No, I haven't either, Larry. It's just so good. Look at him. He's going to jump out of that thing. He's going to be up on the side of the door there in a minute like his dad used to do. And he's about to be a 40-year-old little kid. But I guess there's a little kid in all of us, Darrell, especially when you win the 500. I never think about him being old. I still think about him being Junebug. 11-time NASCAR's most popular driver, and that is voted by the fans. <laughs> and Dale Jr. captures the flag at the start-finish line. Begins boy, to head oh toward victory lane. They are going to have some kind of celebration back at the old Hendrick Motorsports shop, probably over at Whiskey River, have a little uh, special night or something. This could be big. And Phoenix better put more grandstands. Yeah. 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 Car owner Rick Hendrick headed for victory lane yet again. He won last year with Jimmy Johnson. He wins this year with Dale Earnhardt Jr. <laughs> On the way to the finish, we knew it would be a wild one. And here it is. Harvick up into Kyle Busch and Jamie McMurray and Reed Sorensen. Busch around, makes further contact. Cars pile up and more are on the way. That's why the caution waves with the checker. And it's Dale Earnhardt Jr. capturing the Daytona 500. There's his sister, brother-in-law, L.W. Miller, and crew chief Steve Letarte uh -huh. with the biggest fist pump of all, aside from this one. They won yesterday. They won today. <laughs>